so welcome back so in this today's lecture we will see the virial equation of state with higher order terms so in the previous lecture we saw terms with only beta 1 and we also saw a explanation for how this beta 1 arrives and what is the irreducible integral so what we will do in this lecture is we will study the virial equation of state using irreducible integral of higher order terms we have seen beta 1 now we will go for beta 2 beta 3 likewise that is our aim because we have neglected the higher order terms in the previous lecture now this will be our final expression for the real equation of state or the final expression for the configuration integral so an important perspective to these integrals as we have already seen are the bond diagrams so bond diagrams means it has the indices how the atoms are connected with each other whether there are three term triplets or doublets or quartets so they are can be joining in any manner so those bond diagrams we will be discussing soon so initially let us see what we have done so far and what is we will also introduce the term of beta 3 first so we have seen beta 1 now we will do have seen beta 2 and now with beta 3 so we will introduce the term of beta 3 first then we will expand the term of z so we know that the series type evolution can be excluded can be included to include higher order terms such as beta 2 and other irreducible integrals which is uh, beta 3 beta 4 like that even though their contribution is less but let us complete the entire expression so our sole aim is to obtain higher order virial coefficient just to recollect what we did so far so what is beta 1 we know that beta 1 is the integral between these two graph indices atom 1 atom 2 and we have seen that the corresponding beta 1 is 1 upon v of summation this is a two term expression so there will be only a single function as i told you we have transformed the coordinates from the rectangular coordinates to those in terms of differences so the distances between two atoms are one of the variable so and we have written in this manner fij so first i will write for the rectangular coordinates and we also seen if this is converted to polar coordinates it goes to 0 to infinity then you will have fij which will be a function of rij okay then rij whole square and drij so this is beta 1 what was beta 2 beta 2 was a complicated integral which is we have seen that here you cannot separate out the indices because if you take origin single atom then the other interatomic distance will change so you cannot fix any one of the atom you cannot fix either of these atoms as origin so it means all these integrals has to be done across all the three atoms and connection between these two by a solid line implies that there is an interatomic potential between the respective atoms so for this there is a complicated integral beta 2 what is beta 2 so beta 2 we have already seen which is 2 factorial into v then you do it for 3 times and you have this so f 1 2 f 2 3 f 3 1 then you will have dr 1 dr 2 like that okay so this is what is your beta 3 so beta 1 so beta 1 beta 2 likewise we can also find beta 3 so we will see that later but this is just to give a summary so continuing this discussion there can be also a mixture of beta 1 and beta 2 what is a mixture so i can also write the four terms let us suppose you have this term this term this we know already is beta 2 we know that now if it is connected to this this can also result in terms of beta 1 plus beta 2 so these type of expressions or these type of indices if they are connected it means all these are to be integrated over its individual atom and all the atoms are connected to each other through an internal molecular potential so in such a case these type of integrals can be expressed at terms of terms of beta 1 plus terms of 
beta 2 okay so it means if you take this as the origin for example so it means this entire part this part will be beta 2 and this part will be beta 1 contribution so this is one way you can add up the terms of beta 1 beta 2 now let us come to the original expansion that is beta 3 so beta 3 as you know this will be a term consisting of four indices but in a different manner so what are the different ways it can be connected so i'll tell you some ways where it is connected so it can be either connected like this so i'm not making this uh, filled diagrams these are all filled diagrams it can be either connected like this or it can be connected like this the indices or it can be connected like this so there are many ways like that I can also uh, these are all filled it be because it has to be indicated over this all these atoms okay four ways so we can also have these type of diagrams maybe uh, you can have these type of also diagram you have four of them connected to each other it may also have another connection like this okay or you may have these type of connections So both of them they are connected to here as well they are con these type of connections or you invert it. So if you invert this this can also happen. So I am assume that the functions are same okay that can happen or you can also have these type of functions let us say uh, these are all similar actually but still just to make understand. So, it can connect it get like this connections or it may also be this connection. So, you know there are many combinations it is possible this connection or you may have this connection I am just writing the probable connections there may be many more. So, I am not drawing all of them. So, these are another connection or you may also have this type of complicated connections where all the atoms are connected to each other and obviously both of them are having interpolated potential among all the atoms. So see so many such combinations are possible obviously all this has to be individually on all the atoms these integrals okay so this should be filled. So filled means this cluster diagram so cluster diagrams means it is to be integrated on the each atom. So all this has to be integrated on each atom and uh, where the lines are connected it indicates that is a interatomic potential between these. So, I will not show the entire derivation for this expression. So, the expression of the entire beta 3 will consist of all these integrals. So, when you do that you derive that you will reach an expression of beta 3 which is like this beta 3 is equal to 1 by 3 factorial but by now I know you must be knowing what is 3 this 3 is just to check and confirm that you are not counting the triplets again and again same triplets again and again to incorporate that particular part you are dividing by factorial of 3 because it is triplets you are containing 3 each. So this then will be 4 different summations across all the volume okay so it will be uh, this is all across all volume so it will be for example in this case it is 3 f 3 4 so, 4 atoms F23 and F14, F12 plus 6 times of F34, F23, F141312. Plus F of 34, F24, F23 then uh, you will have f14 f of 13 and f of 12 so this entire expression and then because there are four atoms so you will have only expressions of dr1 dr2 dr3 dr4 
So, this is the once you do you take up all the combination and the way we did earlier for beta 2 and beta 1 you exactly process in the same manner you will get this expression. So, it is a bit complicated it is a very tedious process. So, some many times what we do we try to neglect this beta 3 contribution, but nevertheless let us write what is the general expression. So, we now come to the original expression that is the opening up of those terms that is expanding the terms of the configurational integral. You remember in the previous lecture we have seen there is the 4 integral and then again 4 summation of the terms of f i j and f i dash j dash. So, if you take 3 terms then f i j, f i dash j dash, f i double dash j double dash and then again another term let us say we call that f i 3 times dash and f j 3 times dash. So, these terms you get on expanding and then you uh, this reduce it to irreducible integral that is what our plan is. So, we come back to the, our original expression. So, ultimately what our expression is we have seen the expression for beta 3 also for a higher virial coefficient to obtain the expression for the expansion of the configuration integral. So, let us suppose we take up the third virial coefficient we will return all terms of order beta 1, beta 2 while neglecting terms of beta 3 and higher. So, uh, this term we have already seen this summation terms. So, we will write triplets of this. So, triple summation then you have across the all the volume then as I told you f i j, f i dash, j dash, f i double dash, j double dash okay. and then you will be having d r i j i d r i dash d r j dash then again d r i double dash d r j double dash. So, this is the expression next expression. So, if you write this expression we have already got the expression earlier now we have got v n we have got one expression for because that the term was 1 plus then this single term then double term then triple then 4 terms that like. So, single and double and now it is triple. So, single and double we have already derived in the previous lecture. So, I just write down the expression. So, it will be v n multiply by 1. So, there was a 1 plus some term. So, 1 is that v n v n term then you have this term n square by 2 beta 1 by v ok plus then this term the two term equation. So, if I take f i j f i dash j dash this will be a two term expression. So, n square by 2 whole square into beta 1 by v whole square ok till this we have done in the previous class. So, now I will try to write down the triplets into it. So, if you run triplets on it we have already written this term in the previous lecture. So, in the previous one what we did was that since this contribution for this term was highest for the triplet we only retain this term, but let us add that additional term. The additional term will involve terms of beta 2. So, as I told you this beta 2 can be written separately because we have the terms already derived. So, this was n cube by 3 factorial then 2 factorial to beta 2 by v square this is the entire term. So, what does this say? So, this actually says that this is a term of f i j these are the terms of we can say if it is a two term it is f i j f i dash j dash and these are the terms if you say these terms are of f i j f i dash j dash and f i double dash j double dash. In the previous case what we did we only took this term the this one this term and now we are adding this term because if you see my expression what I have written here. So, we will actually we are neglecting only terms of type beta 3. So, there it means this is the value of that expression of integral and these are how many pairs this is the number of pairs value of the integral these are number of pairs value of the integral. By now you must be knowing this 3 and 3 implies that we are not 
computing the terms f i j into f i dash j dash is same as f i dash j dash into f i j. For that these three factorial terms comes into the picture. So, it means the next fourth term if I want to write down in terms of this cluster diagram why now you must be must familiar. This is this type of equation and then you have this type of expressions here and then uh, it may be either be um, uh, you know either this type of expressions this or you may have this type of expressions. So, for all these different terms you are having the terms as above. The next term now four terms. So, four term means you will have four summation, you will have four summation then again you do the integral across all the now you have f i j, f i dash j dash, f i double dash j double dash, f i triple dash j triple dash. Then uh, you have the term as before dri, drj, dri dash, drj dash, then dri double dash, drj double dash, then you have dri triple dash, drj triple dash. So, this is the entire expression. Okay where you have to evaluate now the four terms. One term we have seen, two terms we have seen, doublets, triplets we have seen, now quartet. Let us go move ahead and see if we are able to write an expression which somehow resembles or series expansion. Let us see. So, before we go and write down the expansion, so we need to know what are the different ways we can write. So, if I want to draw the indices for four different types of atom, so it may be 8, what are the 8 indices? F12, F34, F56 and F78. All indices are different. Okay. So, this will be something like this type of diagram. So, in this case it is nothing but uh, you know it is just beta 1 by V each of them we know for one cross what is one doublet, we can actually separate out all the doublets here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, you can separate out all the integrals. So, you can write everything in beta 1. So, we know what is this expression that is beta 1 by v for one term. So, there are four terms it will be beta 1 by v was 4. So, it will be the expression will be v n into beta 1 by v whole 4. This is one way you are breaking them into several irreducible integral in terms of beta 1. You can have then 6 indices, 6 indices can be either of this, it can be f 1 2, f 2 3, f 4 5, f 5 6 or you can have f 1 2, f 2 3, f 3 4 or f 5 6. So, here you have 2 and 5 as repeated, here you have 3 and 2 as repeated. So, 2 indices are repeated, the remaining as we have total 6 indices. So, this can be either be something like this, it can be you know this type of diagrams and for this and for this it can be you know this type of diagrams. Sorry. Okay. So, I am I can club 3 of the indices together in the first expression, the second expression I can club 4 indices together because 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 they are all together, 5, 6 is different. Here if you see 1, 2, 2, 3 they are same and again 4, 5, 5, 6 are same. So, in this case again I can break them into beta 1. So, if you do that beta 1 you can see this is one of the beta 1, again you will have these terms to be square that is beta 1 by v whole square this term if you recollect. Now, there are two terms it will be beta 1 by v whole square m to the power of 2. So, it beta 1 to the power of 4. So, it is the expression will be v n both the expressions this will be v n again the same because again here also I can break them into 3 terms and 1 terms. So, 3 terms means beta 1 by v whole cubed into beta 1 by v. So, beta 1 by v whole 4. 6 indices. Now, 5 indices there may be many such 
five separate indices either it can be f12 f23 f34 f45 or it can be f12 f13 f14 f15 or it can also be f12 f23 f31 f45 okay either of this expansion is possible so either of this if it is possible i can it means i can write down one two again i can write down in terms of this cluster diagrams so if you write in cluster diagrams this is very simple to do so we just simply connect all them together 2 3 4 5 so there are five terms and for this uh, 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 all are connected to each other it means i will have to draw like this and for this what is the expression for this it can be a sum of two terms you know what are those two terms see 1 2 2 3 3 1 will give this term close type integral 3 then f 4 5 is totally separate so i can write like this okay so in this case it's very simple for both of these cases it can be this both of these cases pretty simple it will be simply beta 1 by v whole 4 because there are no closed integrals so you can see you, there are how many lines you connect you count 1 2 3 4 so beta 1 by 4 beta 1 by v you multiply by 4 times again here see 1 2 3 4 you can take this atom as the origin so it is 4 similar but here you will have a sum of the closed integrals so closed integrals means here beta 2 will come into the picture so it will be a product of both so beta 2 if you want to write the expression beta 1 by v is for these two atoms and then what you do is you have to multiply with the term that is beta 2 which corresponds to this term closed term okay now there may also be four indices what are the four indices maybe 1 2 f 2 3 f 1 3 f 2 4 okay four different because this is i can write down in this manner this one this is quite similar to five but here what you have to do is you see one of them is closed then other one f24 is not separated out it means this two this two will be that term of the origin that is you can take this two atom as the origin and you have another term here so it means this will be again uh, expression concerning beta v into the term 2 factorial because it can be broken into terms of beta 1 and beta 2 or you can also have this type of integral 1 2 2 3 f 3 4 and f 1 4 what will be this all are connected to each other it means it will be something like this so this then goes to co terms contribution contribution which integral now to beta 3 now neither beta 1 will come into the picture neither beta 2 will come to the picture neither they are triplets neither they are doublets so this was all about the indices now what you do is you have to multiply this with number of pairs or number of triplets or number of quartets that will give you the entire contribution of this indices let us see now come back to the term where you have four terms now let us write the general expression now from here which one is the highest value if you see the highest value is mostly probably this two vn into v1 by v and this expression but here again we have v square this is v to the power of 4 so let us write with the terms of terms number of terms so if i want to write down there will be n square by two ways to choose a pair of indices for beta 1 term we have read that in the previous lecture and n cube by 3 factorial to the triplet for indices so what does that mean basically it means that uh, uh, i can either use a 6 indices term for example or we have the 4 indices term 
So either the six indices or the four indices term. The six indices term is pretty simple. For example, the maximum contribution will be this type of expression which concerns F12, F23, F45 and then F56. So this will have the highest contribution. So that will be equal to number of pairs that is we have already seen Vn into beta 1 by V whole 4. This type of contribution will be the highest. And then you have to add those which has 4 indices. So it will be sum of 6 indices and 4 indices. So you have to measure the contribution of the 6 indices terms and the 4 indices term because these are the maximum contribution. Then it will be simply be equal to these type of diagrams as we have seen. You can also have this type of diagram and now you must be knowing F23, F13 and then F24. What is the contribution for this term? This is V1 into beta 1 by V into 2 factorial into beta 2 by V square. Now sum them. So it means we have the fourth term expression for the configuration integral a sum of this plus this multiplied with their number of pairs that is for doublets and triplets. So what are those? You multiply these terms with n square by 2 and the first term with n square by 2 and the second term with n cube by 3 factorial. So we will get the total contribution. So the, the term for this then becomes the summation the summation of all the terms then becomes f i j f i dash j dash f i double dash f j double dash then you have this d r 1 so we have done all the transformation now i am just writing for simplification this expression so these are all across volume so now what it will be because this is a four indice term i will add include a four factorial so that the four different indices are not counted repeatedly. Then you will have n square by 2 whole to the power of 4 because there are four terms. So n square 2 ways choose a pair of indices. What is the ways to choose? For a pair you need n square by 2. So for four quartet you need n square by 2 whole square. So this is for a pair. So there are 4 pairs here, so it means you have to multiply by 4 and the contribution for this is beta 1 by phi, v into whole 4. So this is the number of pairs and this is the contribution plus these terms. So it means n cube by 3 factorial number of ways will be there to choose, but n square by 2 pairs are already there because we are not over counting, they are already there. So this into the expression for this term. So you might have un understood what it is. So it means that uh, you know these type of terms. What it means is, see these uh, this term is actually due to this. Uh, this way you choose the two term expression. So if I want to break these two terms, this term beta 1 by V into Vn has to be multiplied by n square by 2 to find all possible pairs concerning two atoms, n square by 2 into beta 1. So if I make a bold line here, these two terms, th the product of these two terms will give us all types of pair concerning two atoms. And the product of this and this will give us all the triplets concerning this type of closed shell. So it means it is multiplied with number of triplets and the contribution. Multiply by number of doublets into this contribution. This is the entire contribution due to this 4 indices term and this term is the 6 indices term. It means there will be 4 pairs. Each pair will have n square by 2 number of pairs. So 4 pairs will be n square by 2 raised to the power of 4 and the contribution of each pair is beta 1 by v. So contribution of 4 pairs is to the power of 4. So this is the way it is actually evaluated. Okay. So likewise I can also write for the 5 term expression. What is this 5 term expression? 
uh, fij f i dash j dash f i double dash j double dash f i triple dash j triple dash then f i okay this type of terms okay uh, if it is done on all the vectors n number of atoms these type of terms so looking at the same analogy i will not provide the entire expression so what you get is you will be having this type of expression so 1 by 5 because it is 5 indices then again n square by 2 to the power of 5 so there are 5 different types of pairs so it will be beta 1 to the power of 5 into vn plus again 1 by 2 factorial n cube by 3 factorial then n square by 2 whole square then 2 factorial beta 2 by v square then again beta 1 by v whole square into v to the power of n. So, if you see there is a trend. So, for 6 term equation then it will be. So, what will be the for the 6 term f i j f i dash j dash f i double dash j double dash f i triple dash f j triple dash f i 4 dashes j 4 dashes then f i 5 dashes. Then again dr1 to drn. So, this is for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is for 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 term. So, 6 term now you can generalize it. See, it will be 5. So, it will have to be 1 to 6. And you do this n square by 2, it will be power of 6. And then this will be beta 1 by v to the power of again 6 vn plus now you have to include triplets in your 6 index system so 1 by 3 factorial then again the possible pairs you multiply by n cube by 3 factorial then what are the different doublets possible and number of pairs that will be n square by 2 whole cubed then the contribution due to beta 2 v square into v n then there will be another term 1 by 2 factorial n cube by 2 whole square then 2 factorial beta 2 whole square okay and into v n. So, there is another additional term. This term I will not describe it is due to the number of complexity of the irreducible integrals but the first two terms you should pay attention. So, based on that we can write now a general expression. So, let us see what are the general expression. So, we have expressions for 2 term expression, 3 term expression, 4 term, 5 term and this is 6 term. So, from there can we reduce any general series expansion? Let us see. So, if you do a complete expansion of all the series, so I can write down z as equal to z as equal to v to the power of n is common. This is 1 plus. So, it will be n square by 2 into beta 1 by v. This is we have already done earlier plus 1 by 2 factorial n square by 2 whole square then beta 1 by v to whole square plus 1 by 3 factorial n square by 2 whole cubed then beta 1 by v whole cubed. Okay this is one part of the term then you can uh, plus 1 by again you write the another term n square by 2 whole 4 then you have a beta 1 by v whole 4 clubs some of the terms can be clubbed so this is one expression we are having then the other expressions is equal to you are adding some other terms also plus v n n cube by 3 factorial beta 2. So, this is one term when this is multiplied by v n and this term. So, I am taking the first term of all the expression q 
keeping the first term of all the expression. So, if you remember this was for beta 1 for 2 term expression, 3 term, 4 term, 5 term. Remaining terms I am clubbing here by keeping this expression as common outside. So, if I keep this expression as outside, so this will be equal to, you see you will get a similar expression. plus, so the bracket ends up here, then you will have another expression plus V n two factorial beta two. 2 by v square, then again this whole square you take again this is one term you have taken common, then uh, this term is multiplied with this, again you take this term common, then uh, what you are having is again this term 1 plus this term. So, this term is same, this particular term v n, this particular this term and this term and this term all are same. So, uh, this is this one and this one. So, it means we have an expression where v n plus v n by n factorial this term plus v n by 1 by 2 factorial to this term. So, this plus this, so if I want to write in terms of bold this one, this one and this one are multiplied with this common entire expression. So, this term, this term, this term. So, dotted term respond to term 1 and this one responds to term 2. Okay? If you closely see both term 1 term 2 are a series expansion of an exponential term of n square by 2 beta 1 by v and in this case e to the power of this term. So, if I want to just simplify this expression, so it will be the summation or the multiplication of two exponential expression that is we will write one term due to this dotted one, another term due to this bold one. So, double power series expansion it becomes. Okay. So, double power series expansion means you will have z then becomes equal to v n exponential n square beta 1 by 2 v this one into exponential of n cube 2 factorial beta 2 by 3 factorial into v square. So, this was your, uh, if you just go back to the expression, uh, we wrote uh, this term uh, as the bold one and this term as the dotted one. So, you have the series expansion of exponential of this term and this one. So, that is why the entire double power series expansion comes and we have not reduced all the terms, all the multiple terms into a double series expansion term or I can simplify this, it is v n exponential of n square beta 1 by 2 v into exponential of n cube, this is nothing but just 2, 2 cancels out. So, you have 3 left. So, it is n cube beta 2 by 3 into v square. Okay. So, the general result I can write down as z equal to v n exponential of n square beta 1 by 2 v exponential of n cube beta 2 by 3 v square, then exponential of n 4 beta 3 4 v cube like that. Okay. So, this is the overall general expression okay, n square n cube 
So, I mean this is a term of these two terms. So, if these two terms if you see I can write another term by induction basically I am writing. So, you have n square n cube now you have n 4. So, beta 1 beta 2 because we have not taken any calculation where we have included terms of integral beta 3. So, here only beta 1 beta 2 is appearing. If you have taken beta 3 then this term would also have appeared in the triple power series expansion. So, this is the third term I can write down like this I can keep on writing this. So, this actually paves the way for obtaining beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 as equal to b1, b2, b3 in a real equation of state. How do we do that? We will see. So, let us now write a general expression. So, I can write this in terms of product where s is greater or equal to n exponential of n to the power of s plus 1 beta s by s plus 1 into v s equals to v n exponential of s is greater or equal to 1 n of s plus 1 beta s by s plus 1 into v s. Okay? So, n s plus 1 means if s is 1, so you have the first term. So, it will be n square beta s, s becomes 1 beta 1 by 2 into v to the power of 1 like this n s plus 1. So, it means p if you change s you will expand the expression this is a general expression. So, now let us derive those uh, VDL coefficients what are those? So, we know that pressure now we will again switch back to our original expression involving stat make. So, pressure we know it is dou L n q by dou v keeping temperature and number of moles are same. So, if you do a partition function, so it will be kt, this k is small capital not capital T, this is this is nothing but dou ln z by dou of v n. Okay. So, this is nothing but you will see it will be rho kt if you do the derivative correctly with the z expression which you just now obtain, you will get rho k t, rho is nothing but n by v. So, n by v is rho, the number of molecules by volume is rho. So, because we need an expression in terms of rho, we are now not writing explicitly number of molecules and volume, we are converting into rho. So, if we write that rho, it is nothing but 1 minus summation of s into beta s by s plus 1 into rho s this is term where s is greater or equal to 1 this is the term we get or this actually gives us the expression for pressure which is equal to p of rho k t into we know by analogy j goes from 1 to beta of j plus 1 into rho j is not it? So, because from classical thermodynamics we know rho k t is equal to 1 plus this term, but in statistical thermodynamics we are getting rho k t into this term. So, these two terms should be equal. So, here we are finding a direct expression where we can equally where we can write equate the b j plus 1 with the beta s. So, let us now write the analogy part. So, you know this particular term I will write to correctly rho k t if I want to expand it. 1 plus b2 rho plus b3 rho square plus okay so we get b1 equal to minus beta 1 by 2 b2 equal to minus 2 beta 2 by 3 b4 so b1 there is nothing so it is actually b2 and this is b3 and then you have b4 equals to minus 3 beta 3 4. Okay? So, these are the equivalence between the virial efficient coefficients and the irreducible integrals beta 1, beta 2. This is our final expression the way we want the virial equation of state to be. So, now we have got expressions for all beta 2, beta 2, 
sorry in this case it is beta b2 b3 b4 for classical thermodynamics and beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 for stat thermodynamics so this is the equivalence of stat and classical thermodynamics you will have to lie if you from stat thermodynamics you can then calculate b1 b2 b3 b4 for the Virial equation of state in this manner so i can write down thus the general term bj plus 1 any of the virial coefficients is equal to minus j upon j plus 1 into beta j this is the expression we have obtained the last two lectures okay this is very important so the overall z then becomes v n exponential summation s greater or equal to 1 it will be n s plus 1 into beta s by s plus 1 into v to the power of s ok so this is the term this is the term which we are getting now now let us now write down the final configuration integral and the partition function so just some few remarks before we go that so we have not attempted to reduce the higher order virial coefficient on a single or simple integral form similar to second virial coefficient because it is a difficult and tedious task each virial coefficient arises from considering cyclic interaction of a specific class ok so we have seen that uh, you know beta 2 b3 b4 so these are all somehow related to beta 1 beta 2 or beta 3 so it means b2 b3 b4 are related to some cyclic interaction of a specific class so number of molecules in the closed cycle determines the order of the virial coefficient so we have seen that so this term relates to beta 3 while this type of terms will relate to beta 4 like that okay so interaction between two molecules if there are interaction between two molecules it will relate to the second virial coefficient if there is interaction in a closed cycle of three molecules it will result from the third virial coefficient so second virial coefficient and third virial coefficients are output of the interaction between two molecules and three molecules respectively okay now let us write the overall configuration function so finally what we get is from the previous slides z equal to v n exponential summation s in beta s by s plus 1 root to the power of s so where you can write beta 1 is equal to you know 4 pi of 0 to infinity so now you can write and bring the interatomic potential to play into r square dr likewise you can also have expressions for beta 2 and beta 3 if you want i am not writing it here you know these expressions so this is the expression because here you have rho s because you had n by v s so here we have if you remember we have v s so it was n so now i have written i will convert it into rho s so ln of q then becomes ln of q the partition function for a real gas then becomes this ln of the translational part i will write as it is 2 pi m k t by h square whole to the power of 3 n by 2 this you must be now acknowledging this then this z and then finally with respect to n factorial so this is the term which actually provides the partition function for a real gas partition function for real gas having n atoms ok so if you see if there is no interaction this term then this becomes all unity and this z is because unity and you have only this term this partition function corresponding to monoatomic gas where there is no interaction between atoms so it actually then relates to the ideal gas so since there is interaction this z term comes into the picture so that was all about the 
real equation of states and the virial coefficients. I will again suggest you to go to this book chapter 6 part. So, we are here given the detailed explanation regarding the cyclic interaction on the closed shell irreducible integrals. Please go through it and uh, we will see more of those later. Thank you. Thank you.